Hello. Ah. Oh. Come up. Come up here. Welcome. Today's tour that I led involved a lot of things that really interest me. The sort of fictions around biography, autobiography, history, psychogeographies, -geog and memories, really, and involve objects, the uh, onward sign and uh, the lemon heads. I am actually genuinely very interested in location and sort of layering, layering of history. So taking a tour around today, which is, you know, a 60 year later tour, referencing the Festival of Britain. One is actually very aware of communities of people gathering at a very different time, the Cold War, just after World War II. 60 years later on this bright sunny day, you feel the ghosts. I don't mean, Ooh, but you know, just how, how um, places, you know, do sort of resonate with what has happened. And I like working with that and working against it and bringing in things from other temporal and geographical zones, really. The boredom threshold is, um, is something that I would feel needed addressing, you know, and that's why I would probably put in a few things that might be um, a little entertaining but I also think I like the idea of things not being known whether they are intentional, I mean whether they were put there by me or not. Starman, well that's a kind of back to the future moment for me because that was my future and very different from the future as envisaged within the um, 1951 festival. The audience's response is always the very interesting aspect of doing anything in the live moment because that really is the chemistry. You're sending something out and something's coming back. So anyone on the so-called receiving end is as active, I feel, as I am in my role. Gilbert and Sullivan um, and HMS Pinafore were chosen because of the um, location. Also because I think um, they're very witty and they're also English in that sense of being topsy-turvy and also quite sort of prickly to authority. The lemonade, yes, well that was for a bit of fun. Festival of Britain um, was described by somebody as being very yellow and I loved the Idris lemon, the speaking lemon that gushed lemonade. I only saw in a black and white photograph of the Festival of Britain and I thought I'd like to reference that. So design some hats, which um, my daughters very kindly um, wore and, uh, and served lemonade, I thought rather brilliantly. Yeah. What makes a successful performance? What makes a gig a success? You know, it's not necessarily musical. You know, it's not necessarily that people hit all the right notes. I'd say that what's interesting for me is that it happens in the moment, in the present. And so, for example, today's tour, there's a lot of preparatory work and quite a lot of script and notes that really a lot that wasn't included because it was edited in the moment and, and according to what happened. That's one of the things that really compels me about it, this sort of idea you have this one occasion and it is what it is.